Hello, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I will be sharing with you some of my tips for improving your print handwriting. I made a similar video last year, but since then, I have accumulated some more tips to share. I also made a practice booklet that you can download for free, um, so that'll be linked in the description. My first tip is to aim for consistency and not perfection. What I mean by this is you don't really need to make every single letter that you're writing to be super perfect. I think we've all seen like on Instagram, especially like study notes where every single letter is so uniform and so perfect and that is just an incredible skill, but if you're kind of uh, looking to realistically improve your handwriting, you do not need to, at least at the beginning, aim for that sort of perfection. So here on the screen, you can see two writing samples. Both were written by me on the computer. And I think at first glance, overall, most people would agree that the one on the left looks a little bit messier than the one on the right. But if you only look at the left side, which is supposed to be like the messier side, um, and you look at each letter, I think each letter actually looks really neat and pretty. But the reason why the left side looks messier than the right side um, at first glance is because it is not consistent. So to achieve this consistency, um, we're going to move on to tip number two, which is to ensure that you have even spacing between the characters and between the words. So again, on the screen, you can see two writing samples. Um, the one on the top have inconsistent spacing where um, the space between the letters are slightly different and also between the words are slightly different versus the one on the bottom which is just very uniform um, and even if the characters themselves aren't perfect it still looks neater than the top sample and even for me after practicing for so many years um, this tip is actually still very difficult for me to fully follow because um, especially if i'm writing super quickly i'm not really focusing on the spacing between my characters but um, yeah, when I do get to spend a little bit more time writing my sentences, I ensure that the spacing is uniform. My third tip is to ensure that the height of your characters are uniform. So if you have capital letters, make sure all of the capital letters are roughly the same height and all of your lowercase letters are the same height and also the descenders for um, letters like Q or G. And again, I put up two more writing samples where the top one, the heights are not very uniform, the capital letters are all different heights, and the lowercase letters are also different heights. Um, for my personal writing style, my capital height and my lowercase heights are very similar. There's like a marginal difference, uh, but in that way, I still keep it consistent. Tip number four, I already shared this before, but it is to focus on changing one letter at a time. So as I said before, you don't need to completely overhaul your entire handwriting and copy somebody else's handwriting and make it look neat. Um, as long as it's consistent, it can still look really good. But um, if you're unhappy with certain letters and how you write them, then instead of trying to fix everything all at once, which can get really overwhelming, what I do is just pick one letter at a time. I figure out a particular font or maybe I saw on Instagram somebody else writing this letter in a way that I really like. Then I just only change this letter whenever I write anything in my daily life. And I find this way to be the quickest way to actually change the way you write your letters. My final tip is of course to practice and write daily. Honestly for me, I don't run into this issue because I strictly prefer pen and paper over digital. So for example, when I take notes for school, um, unless it's like a computer science course, I typically always just use pen and paper. But I definitely understand that um, for other people, you might prefer digital notes or doing most things digitally, but the downside of that, and you might not be even aware of it, is certain days you might not touch pen and paper at all and you don't end up writing anything. So in order to make sure that you are actually practicing and writing every day, you can set aside 5 minutes or 10 minutes of your day and write a daily journal or you can write down your favorite quotation or even use practice worksheets. Um, so yeah, speaking of which, I have created a free PDF file 
It's formatted in such a way that you can print it out by itself or you can print out multiple copies and create a little booklet by like stapling it together. I think that's pretty neat. I do hope that is helpful in helping you practice daily. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this video. I do plan on making further videos on things like uh, cursive handwriting. Uh, because this video is just about print handwriting and also some fun fonts that you can try. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!